sure I got one in store for y'all today. Welcome back to the channel. I'm sure y'all tired of seeing me on this couch, but hey, it's cold outside, and this is where the video is getting me. Hold on, let me let me set y'all up a little bit back. There we go. Gonna angle up. But yeah, today I'm excited to make this video. So I'd probably say it's almost been about a year now since we got the last one. My partnership, they came through again. So I reached out to him. I don't know if recently I said anything, but practicing the stunts, going heavy. I had a couple good crashes and I bent my cage finally. It took me all this time, over a year to bend the cage. And it's not even bad. I just got OCD and I can't stand things to be out of shape. So I hit him up I'm like, yo, I feel like we can make the best cage on the market. Listen to my ideas. So I spat on my ideas and we went back and forth and we came up with a new concept. And essentially, I was just trying to incorporate some of the things that are on big bikes for our little bikes. Because the fact that if it can protect a big bike, then it'll damn near make these bikes impenetrable. So I reached out to him and I was like, all right, can you add this? Can you add that? He was like, well, we can add this. Adding that might be a little bit much work. And I was trying to create like a third contact point if I could. I'm not even going to go into it because you're going to see what we got now. I'm happy with it. The reason they make the cages the way they do is so they're not too strong so the cage actually bends before you bend your frame so i bent my cage slammed it down on the right hand side practicing scrapes um but it still works it's fully functional doesn't really touch the plastic at all um but i just wanted something new so today we got an unboxing for y'all and i'm excited to show you this cage yeah, I'm a bad YouTuber. I already took it out of the box. Like, I was excited and everything when it delivered. It came this afternoon. I was like, I got to open it up. But what I'm most excited for is this right here. So, let me show you all this. So, first, they hooked me up. A couple more stickers. I got a couple white ones on the bike. I got a black one now. These probably going to go on the helmet. But look what they did for the truck, y'all. Big old sticker for the truck. I can't wait to put that joint on there, but that thing gonna look good, boy, I tell you. With the rest of them, I don't know. I'll show y'all a picture of the back of my truck in a little bit, but y'all, it's real now. We can truly represent Anarchy Nation to the fullest. Like, we got shirts now, yo. Like, dreams is coming true, like I keep saying. Oh, I got one for my boy, too. I'm waiting for his subcase to come in the mail. I'm actually upset because it was supposed to be here before mine. But, yo, check these fat shirts out. If y'all be interested in these shirts, let me know in the comments below. Because I can hit them up and see if they can hook me up with some that I can maybe, like, send to y'all or sell y'all or whatever. Because I don't know how much they go for. Um, I had just been bugging them for t-shirts because I was like, yo, bro, you got to send me shirts. Like, I be putting y'all on blast out here on the east coast got a couple people out here with their products and i just want them to be able to promote more now i can ride and when they ask oh who the cage from anarchy nation and now i could pop collared and be good but let's get into the video for what y'all came here for I, I wrapped it all back up so that way it could seem like i opened it for y'all but really i had opened it early. but let's get in here i'm gonna try to take some dope b-roll footage or whatever for the end so y'all can get a real good close-up look at it but here we have it. Let me hold it like that. This is how it would look and sit on the side of the bike if you were looking at it from the left side. This is the one of one Anarchy Nation Z125 dampened cage. So my idea was I wanted to create a third contact point. It would have been too much work. So I was like, well, can you put some of that dampening in it like you do for the big bikes? And I was like, I feel like put a spring in it. It'll catch it and, you know, it won't slam the bike down anymore. And he's like, yeah, we can do that for you. And I was like, all right, word. I'm like, yo, hook it up and, you know, let me get one, you know, hook me up and I'll explain it. So we got a partnership and they just hooked me up with dope prices. So don't think that I'm fully sponsored by this company and that they send me this stuff for free. It don't get down like that. But for my promoting and everything, you know, I scratch their back, they scratch mine. And they, they'll help you all out too. If y'all tell them I sent you, they will hook you up with the best bang for your buck that you're going to find out there. But by far, 
this is probably the best cage on the market for the Z125 right now. I've been beating the mess out of the other one. And you see, this has even more protection to it now. So there's no way in the world that this isn't going to be better than the other one. I'm absolutely stoked. Like, hmm. And like the welds and everything, like the color. So they know me, I'm big on the, the burn look from the welding. So I always tell them like, yo, try to give me as much of that, that nice blue look that you can. And I was was gonna paint it, but I was like, you know what? We're gonna keep Ruthie with that meta that metal look to her frame or to her uh, cage and build. And we maintain that look with this. Got the dope clear coat on it again. Um, they started putting a sticker on there when you when you get it. It's already got one. So yeah, if you're in the market for any kind of protection for your bike, six three six. F4i, FZ07, uh, probably Ninja 250. I'll say, it's safe to say most things Kawasaki, several things Yamaha. They probably have them for Jixxers too. If you ask them, I'm pretty sure they'll make it. But the best part about this is the turnaround time. You place an order with them, it'll probably be built in a week and shipped to your, and land at your doorstep in about a week. At least mine do. Um, but anybody else that I heard that ordered from them, it's the same thing. It's the best turnaround time you're going to get out there. So if you want a sub cage, I'll put a couple pictures of my sub cage up here. Um, they look the same for the Grom. Hopefully my boys comes. I'll probably make a video for his too so y'all can see that. But if you need a sub cage, I'm telling you, dope protection, solid, and will be at your doorstep in no time. So never mind waiting seven weeks to get something. You order something right now, you might see it in, by the time summertime comes from some of these companies. But I'm not even gonna ramble on, you know. I am super stoked. Honestly, the first thing I'm gonna do when I get my bike is put this cage on and push the bike over. <laughs> just to see how it worked. That's what I did with the first one. I got it and just pushed the bike over. It's like, oh, it works. But yeah, can't wait to rock these t-shirts. Anarchy Nation, I can't thank y'all enough for everything that y'all done for me, having my back through this journey. Um, if it wasn't for y'all, my bike would be in pieces and in shambles and I would not be continuing to do this. So for you guys, I am gratefully thankful and I will continue to rep and try to put people onto your amazing product. But uh, the, bro, the bro power grandma called. I hope y'all ain't been seeing that flashing light. That's from the lights on my TV. All right. The bro power grandma called. So that kind of cut the video out right there. But yeah, I ain't going to ramble on anymore. Anarchy Nation, we wavy with it. I can't wait to get out there and test this cage out. We about to go ham when I get my bike back up and running, I swear. But like, subscribe, comment. Until next time. Oh, don't forget about your stickers if you ain't get one yet. I still got stickers going, so holla at me.